So hi, everyone. Welcome to today's webinar. So today, um, the session will be split into three main parts. Uh, basically, what uh, we'll be talking about will be why do we call it, um, and then the process, step-by-step -step process on how to register for it, and thirdly, just uh, a demo sizing on the software itself. So why do we call it? So in all industrial and mobile machineries, we will have mechanical losses or efficiency losses. So where do these mechanical or efficiency losses come from? For hydraulic systems, these are your pump and valve inefficiencies or your pressure losses in your manifolds, pipes and fittings. So all of these inefficiencies or efficiency losses will end up as heat. And this is why we need cooling systems. So the objective today is to showcase to you, um, because in every application and every system uh, requires different pressure, uh, total power installed to run the system, your flow rate, the type of fluid that you're using, and also depending on where you are geographically, the maximum ambient temperature. So all of these are variables and key parameters in sizing a cooler and determining the right size of cooler for your application. So that is why uh, we have this cooler sizing software. Um, so this is just for fluid to air only, um, which is all your AC, DC driven motor, hydraulic driven motor range. Um, and so this does not include brace plate heat exchangers or gasketed plate heat exchangers. So that will be for future webinar sessions. But um, in the meantime, if you have any of those queries, please uh, do contact your local sales department, uh, your sales office, and we'll be able to help you with sizing that. So let's get started. Um, how to register. So we will uh, go to Chrome. It's very easy to remember. The website is just called coolit.hydac.com. And I would suggest that you use uh, Chrome as the preferred browser, just because it can remember all your details. All right, I've zoomed in a bit more. So for new users, um, basically how to register is just on the top right there, login. Um, you click register and just fill in all of your details. And just to take note, user type, just please click advance just because the basic version limits some of your options um, in sizing and you won't be able to view some of these options as well. Uh, metric for us in Australia. Just click agree to the policy and click register and you should receive an automated email within 10 minutes or within 24 hours and that comes with a generic password. So uh, yeah, and then you can edit it as you go. So for once you have all your details and your auto generic password, um, just fill that in. You can remember me on this computer and log in. So saves you the time in re-entering all of those. So this is how your dashboard looks like. Um, over here is just where you can get updates on the software. Currently, we're in version 1.6 here. Um, but yeah, so it will tell you updates in version 1.5 or version 1.6. Uh, it says you've introduced a new line when <laughs> usually there's a, a little update there. Um, so going back to our dashboard, um, it, over here in saved searches is where it's really nice where you can save it to a specific customer and all your projects if you ever need to revisit um, your calculations in a later time. So for those of you who maybe are unsure that you've uh, signed up as a basic user, you can always go into edit profile and change to advanced, really easy. So I've just put a, a dummy customer here to show you where you can add uh, your own address book of customer database. Um, so it, it it is a really nice and professional um, tool where you can later on, which I'll show you when it's included in the specification, um, you can add these results and uh, it looks 
really put on on your tendering phase and proposal submissions. So going to here, which I love this function of the catalog under there, it's just, it's got everything that you need, your brochures for all of the range for fluid to air coolers. Um, so, you know, our AC driven range of ACLN um, and then our OKELC and DC range, hydraulic driven motor range. And when you click on it, you'll have the brochure. Um, and also you can go by the series if you choose. And so let's say I want to search for an ACLN 4S and click search. And you'll come up with your product specification, uh, basically all the test data that we've run on that um, your GA drawing, 2D PDF, and this is really key, your 3D models, step files. Um, so this is, you know, for anyone that wants to uh, submit a tender and want to know roughly, you know, the, the dimensions and how it fits into your system, this is a really handy function to have. But just please take note that for all of our Australian standard market range, uh, it all comes with IBP3, which is our integrated pressure bypass so yeah just taking note on a few little things like the the code number uh would be different and yeah dimensionally won't change much just that the ibp3 is part of the core um yeah so going to a demo sizing is under product config uh please always use the wizard uh, function and not the manual just because this prompts you step by step for all the variables that we are talking about and just in case you forgot to get those information for your customer this helps to prompt you so for today's example we'll do a 7.5 kilowatt power unit on and sizing a cooler for that so that's it I mean it's using a VG46 oil so I mean this is where you can select your different type we go next step two so this is just showing you the type of motor um, so i mean for this example we're going with an ac range and 50 hertz so next step would say it's got 21 liters per minute on there now with um, the Australian standard market range, I'll just add that the ACAF LN, uh, we size the screw pump separately. So you can always, um, you can not choose that option if you want to. So next, uh, for this purpose, let's say, so the max inlet liquid temperature here, an important thing to note is your target max temperature based on the oil that's using in the system. So obviously with a VG46, I would, I would say the target max would be 60 or your target viscosity should always be around 30 centistokes. Um, max ambient, I mean, in Australia would be 45. So just don't be alarmed with the warning um, that comes up because this is uh, software that's done in Europe. So 45 is a bit too hot for them, but it's okay um for us in australia so here just just to point out i mean if for your uh system the cooling power required is is a big one say 620 kilowatts you can always do the allow multiple function and and do up to like eight coolers in parallel or if you've got the high flow rate that sort of thing so that's that's just um for next advanced user training uh webinar sessions but yeah will not show this in this stage. So next, um, so cooling power required, I mean, it's got a 7.5 kilowatt motor on this power unit. So rule of thumb is 30% of that. So it'll be 2.3 kilowatt. Um, so under the calculate power functions, again, um, it will be for future advanced user training session, but um, you can go by existing cooler if you're replacing one you know the flow rate of 21 liters per minute uh, of it, 60 in and maybe your target is 50. And when you click calculate, it will update there. So, but yeah, for our today's purpose, 
we're going 30% of that. Um, so here, step six will always be panel cut fins. Um, just because, I mean, over here, herringbone only available for ACM line, which is the new OKELD, but it is not our Australian standard market range. So just bear in mind, just always stick with panel cut. Uh, next, here is altitude. I mean, if your if your application is somewhere really high up in the mountains, then yes, I would suggest putting that. But for now, for most cases, it's zero meters. Um, here, look, we'll just uh, strongly advise to always use the open function. Um, and yeah, close is just for specific applications only. So just don't select that one. And tolerances, look, cool, it already has um, some margin incorporated, which is 5%. So I, I don't usually put zero, and I usually put it at zero, so I don't put any tolerances. How do you want to optimize your search? This function is just basically sorting your results like a filter. So I want to sort by cost or sort by cooling power required, noise, dimension, pressure loss, etc. So usually I go by cooling power required. Um, yeah, maximum results four, or I can increase it as much as you want. And then when you click submit, uh, this is what you get a ACLN 3S or an OKELC 3H, so the AC driven range for both of them, but it's the compact version or 230 volt, 400 volt. And then it'll show you the power, um, cooling power that it can do your temperature out. And just to also take note of, if can we move next, or is that, yeah. So this is what you get. Um, and, and please take note of your total uh, differential pressure. But obviously, in, the, in this case, it's not much. Um, and so, yes, this is how it looks like. And if you ever do need to revisit, let's say your customer says, oh, um, sorry, it's actually not a uh, 21 liters per minute. I mean, it was a, actually 33. Um, you can always use this input data tab on the site here instead of going back to wizard and going through the prompts again. So this is a very fast, quick way of doing it. Um, yeah, so this one always defaults to 5% again, but you can change it back to zero, apply changes, and you get a different result. Oh, okay, now I've got an ACLN 2H. Filters is also always good as well if, let's say, um, right, I do not have these in my stock at the moment, but I've got a ACLN 2S and you can force it to a model view and you just want to double check, uh, does it actually work? Well, yeah, not really, but um, that's just how it's going to show you, you know, that this is a little bit undersized. This is what it can do. So that sort of scenario. Uh, technical. so. Going back to unforcing the model, let's say our ACLN 2H. So I close this. So back to our data. Um, let's say you want to see this 2H and a 3S, size 2 and a size 3. Uh, we go to technical data. You want to show these two options to your customer. Uh, you can also do nearest cooler function. OK, yes, only one. but. Let's say if you choose only one and then you click the nearest cooler, that will pop up. Um, and then, so this is the page of how it will show, display your results. So it's really nice. It's side by side. You get the comparisons and also uh, the power chart, cooling power chart and your differential pressure. So these ones will all be printed. So when you click that, charts, drawings. So Again, uh, I just like to highlight, just be, be wary. Obviously, the, the drawings and the part numbers will be different to our Australian standard market range. So it is good for uh, your dimensional purposes. So like I said, um, over here, when you click print to PDF, uh, you've got your selection of your customers that's already been saved. You click a test, give it a file name. 
and all of this will be populated instantly and you can put print and it'll bring you to the next tab into this lovely document of showing you, yep, this is for company Smith Hydraulics. Uh, this is your customer name, customer's name. And uh, yeah, and it's got your name on it, which is really nice. Shows you for the size two, um, the drawing and your size three, the graphs and the drawing. So these are really nice key functions, a professional document that you can always add into your tender and your submission for any proposal. So very handy to have. Um, so that's that's pretty much it. So going back to just closing up on things to note. So as a conclusion, uh, things to note, make sure to use Google Chrome as the preferred browser. Um, and also, yes, yeah, sorry, there are some, uh, you know, with the Australian standard market range, we do not carry the ACM, which is basically the new OKELD version, uh, the ACA LN, which is just pump and cooler. Now that is, um, we do pump cooler filter, so the ACAF LN, and then, um, yeah, the AC LNH, which is the new hydraulic range. Um, and then just remember that with our ACAF LN sizes 2 to 14, we do it with a separate screw pump motor at the back. Um, yeah, so we do the sizing here as well. So, but yeah, just as a conclusion, if in doubt, check our 2019 price list. And thank you for your time. Do you have, and I'll answer any questions if there is. Nope. All right, thank you very much, and we'll see you in the next session. Thank you, Eliza. That was uh, very informative, and uh, I hope you'll uh, all share with me that uh, this is a powerful software. It's a, a really nice way of being able to do uh, fast what-if analysis and generating professional documentation. Uh, particularly, we know that uh, when you're preparing documentation to go with proposals or uh, or following the delivery of a project um, this type of documentation can save you a lot of time and uh, it, it really comes very very well so if you have any questions that um, you've uh, not not presented today but you'd like to follow up on uh, we'll certainly be taking those and we'll answer answer those so please send them to us and we look forward to see you at the next webinar thanks for joining us today bye for now